NRL CEO Dave Smith, Chief Operating Officer Suzanne Young and One Community Ambassador Mario Fennick were among hundreds of Sydney siders who joined the White Ribbon Walk from Randwick to Coogee on Tuesday morning, throwing their support behind the campaign to end violence against women. Nearly 40% of women 15 years and older have experienced violence in their lifetime. Nearly one in five women have experienced sexual assault and nearly one in six women have experienced violence by a current or former partner. It's time for us to stand up and say we will not tolerate or condone violence against women in any form. Today, White Ribbon Day, is an opportunity for all men to step forward and actively show our commitment to promoting positive attitudes and positive behaviours towards women. Look, this is a very big day for the community. I was involved in the very first one here four years ago. That year we all fitted into the Coogee Surf Club and did all this in there. This crowd is ten times that size. That's how much it's grown in four years. So I think the community is very aware about violence wholesale, but domestic violence is a very, very huge subject. And never to excuse violence against women. A day like today actually really raises the awareness. And when you stand up there, and I stood up the front there with my arm around my son and took that oath, uh, I was very proud to do that. It makes me feel very proud of my son, that who's only 20 years of age. He's getting it in his head already that domestic violence against women is just not on. And we hope, I suppose, everybody here hopes that by having a day like this, that the awareness might save just one life. You cannot hit a woman. I think it's, uh, if you're a man, the bottom line is, do your best to not hit a woman and uh, that's why I'm very passionate about White Ribbon. It's a, it's a great day and hopefully we can make a difference and, and men will understand that hitting a woman is not on. And I applaud you all for coming out today to help break the cycle of violence that affects so many within our communities. To you, I say thank you.